Hey guys, thank you so much for joining me. This is Brandy, and I wanted to go into a short a coronavirus discussion. So with this virus, I see a lot of people out washing um, their hands and using sanitizer, which is a very good thing to do. Um, but you also see people that are working at restaurants and grocery stores and Walmart, department store and uh, hardware stores and various stores that are wearing gloves. They, their hands are touching other people's hands. There's no sense in using gloves because they're not changing the gloves after every customer. There's a lot of cross-contamination going on. Um, so, you know, as they're sharing money, bags, there's no point in, there's no point in w even wearing gloves. It would be better to actually use hand sanitizer after each um, customer because you know obviously that's more protective if they can do that if you know if there's enough hand sanitizer to to actually do that and they can use a lotion if their hands get dry um, nurses and I'm a CNA a certified nursing assistant we and nur and registered nurses and doctors um, even they use um, you know when they come into the room they will wash their hands put on gloves check you out take off the gloves, throw them away, wash their hands, and go into the next patient. The next patient has a clean set of hands and uh, fresh gloves. So um, that's one thing that is, you know, that is good. Now, uh, where when you're out and you're seeing all these people that are touching your hands and they're working at registers, they are not, um, they're handling hundreds, sometimes thousands of customers a day. They're not, changing the gloves very often. I know I didn't see them change gloves um, with any of the customers that were in front of me and there was probably 10. So I had to go out. Um, I hadn't went out in two weeks and I had to go out and get some things. And people are still hoarding and, and, and grabbing up everything they can find. There is no Lysol. There is no um, uh, hand sanitizer. I haven't found any. Go on eBay and see how much Lysol is going for right now. I think you'll be surprised. 150, 200 bucks plus. No joking. So go on eBay and check out how much Lysol is going for. It is ridiculous. Um, that being said, um, I have a full container and a part of another one of Lysol because I got a three pack on Amazon a while back and I still have one full one and just another one with a little bit left so um, but that's something to consider so after people if you go through a drive through restaurant and they hand you your food uh, go home and kind of you know definitely hand sanitize before you uh, wash your hands before you eat wash your hands before you eat throw away the bag material um, the whatever they handed you the bags the bagging material um, whatever they hand you, just, you know, trash all of that. Um, even the wrapper, you can trash all the wrapper, the wrapper too. Just put it in a, you know, you don't know who's, um, who's got this virus and you can never be too careful and cautious. So I'm not overly paranoid. I don't consider myself to be. I, and I haven't used, even used masks when I've been out in public and I've seen people that have. Um, this is my cat Sadie here, but um, N95 masks are really good masks. I call them 95 masks. They provide a really good sealant. Um, they seal really well. They use them a lot of. Uh, they use them in surgical uh, units um, when they perform surgery. A lot of times, um, they do here. So um, that is something to also consider. You know, but it's going to be hard to find. Um, I have seen some employees using those type of uh, masks a lot of places that I've went. So um, they are very protective masks, better than nursing masks. Um, <clears throat> I can't talk today because I've had dental work. So um, I just kind of my speech is kind of just like that, but sorry. Um, but anyway, yeah, so, I mean, when you go to, when you go out and, you know, I haven't worn masks, masks like that and, you know, try to stay six feet away from someone because somebody can show signs or not show signs and have this virus. Um, that is truth. That is the truth. 100%. So, um, 
you know, if they cough, you breathe in the, the, the respiratory droplets, you can catch the coronavirus. So that is something you need to be uh, weary about to stay um, away from people if you can. There are some people that don't show signs and this, this virus, unlike the flu, the flu hits you like that. This virus takes time to build up. It hits you hard around the seventh day. That's when you show a fever or a higher fever. Um, but there are people that are carrying this virus that have no signs at all and are passing it around. That is honestly the truth. So there are people out there and, you know, they might have what they, they might feel, feel they have allergies. They might have a small cough, but they might feel it's just allergies. The main symptoms of this, um, and it's a disease, a coronavirus disease, is a cough and fever. Some people have shortness of breath, but that's a smaller percentage. Um, a cough and fever is the main thing. Um, there are some people that don't even have a fever. There are some people that don't, don't even have a cough. To be honest with you, there are some people that ha haven't even had a cough, um, although a lot of people do. So that's something else. Some people have body aches, some people don't. Many, many people don't. There has been a few that, uh, a, a lesser percent that has had body aches. So just consider all of this when you're out, um, just to stay back away from people as much as possible. The main thing is, uh, washing your hands that's the most that's the number one most important thing because the virus lives on surfaces longer than it does in the air so if you come so you know you might catch the coronavirus if you happen to come in contact with someone with the virus but that person could have went to the store and left they could be touching um, clothing and uh, meats and uh, food and uh, medications like Tylenol and all of a sudden um, it, it can live on the surfaces for hours up to 7 to 14 days um, anywhere for, depending on the type of uh, surface material so that is the number one most important thing is to wash hands frequently um, you know so we're not being super paranoid um, but I, I went to Walmart it was the first time I went to Walmart in two weeks uh, there was a a lady with her husband there that were holding hands they had two kids running around outside Walmart she called them to go inside I mean if you can I mean I understand if you have if you have no one you're a single parent and you may not have much family you might have to take your child with you to the store and that's understandable completely but if you have someone you can stay home stay home to protect yourself and others because if we can follow follow orders and stay home um, the more people who stay home if everyone followed the guidelines this virus would be you know would get out of here quicker and we could go back on to our lives you know we could go back to our lives um, so if everyone just followed orders it would be a lot better so we could uh, you know get this uh, virus eradicated and out of here um, hopefully so um, that's just one thing to consider. Consider other people, consider everyone so we can get back to normal. This virus will be out of here. I mean, if everyone was isolating, it, it would be a nice, it would be a good world, you know, just going to the store when you needed to. But when you go to Walmart and there are hundreds of people, it's worse than Christmas time. I swear, I went to Walmart and it, it was packed, jam packed. Um, I went to the Family Dollar Store first and couldn't find what I needed, and I needed groceries anyway, and we kind of live in a small town. I could have went to Kroger, um, and my husband went to Kroger um, days prior. He couldn't find what he needed. Um, he couldn't even find um, hamburger meat. And so we went to Walmart. Um, I went to Walmart. I went inside. We all went, and they stayed in the, in the vehicle. Mike and my son stayed in the vehicle. So we went to Walmart and I told him I'm just going to go in and I will be as quickly as possible. So consider other people, definitely. I mean, it just it does just really help if you consider other people. And um, again, hand washing is very important. I don't think the gloves that all of these people are wearing um, at work. And I'm not sure if it's mandated or if it's just something. I don't think it is because not everyone is doing it. Like I, I would 
you know, I went to one store and some of the workers were wearing gloves and some weren't wearing the wearing gloves at all. So, I, it, you know, I'm not sure if certain stores, if it's mandated or not, but it's ridiculous because of all the cross-contamination. It would be better just to use sanitizer after every person, but then, you know, you know, probably can't do that if there's not enough hand sanitizer. They'd be using a lot of hand sanitizer. You'd be going through a lot. And um, so that's one thing also, but, uh, or at least using it after so many customers, that would be better than wearing gloves, the same pair of gloves for most of the day. It's just, it just is. So, um, you know, I just think it's kind of un totally unnecessary. Uh, but I do use hand sanitizer a good bit when I'm out. And I even get my Walmart bags. I got them home. You know, I got them out of the trunk. I actually Lysoled my trunk. I actually, and you can say I'm paranoid, but um, I have a lower immune system, so I'm taking extra precaution. I um, got in and threw the bags away and washed my hands after throwing the bags away. The ladies, they touch your bags. And, you know, if someone has been in the store and that's, touch their hands or they've touched surfaces with the virus um, it, you know it's a lot of cross-contamination going on so I do throw the bags away and then I'll wash my hands after I throw the bags away and that's just extra precaution that I do I also have to take um, supplements I do take supplements to I don't have to take them but I take them to boost my immune system so I don't get so sick and I've done this before this virus was even thought about so well, I don't know if before it was even thought about, but I've been doing I've been doing this for years now because I used to get sick about three times a season, and on a good season. Sometimes it would be more than that. Um, sometimes I would stay sick, especially in the winter time. So I started taking probiotics. I get and vitamin D. Some people take zinc and vitamin C and elderberry. I can't do vitamin C because of my um, reflux and heartburn issues. It just makes it worse. So I take probiotics and D vitamins. And um, that's my, my probiotics. And I have vitamin D, which is for the immune system. Must go, um, it's for the immune system, uh, neuromuscular health, and bone health. So, and then probiotics are good for your gut health and your immune system as well. So that's just what I do. Um, so that's just what I do. Um, and I don't get sick near as much. I might get sick once every um, few years or so. Um, once every three years. And my husband, he hasn't been sick in 10 years. He has really just naturally strong immune system. So lots of fruits and vegetables keep your immune system up, keep you from getting sick as often. And it absolutely works. It really works. So we just use precaution. Just wash your hands a lot. And sanitize while you're out. Um, often and uh, you know a lot of them are a lot of the stores are running out of the um, sanitizing cloths where you can um, use on the buggies or the carts uh, how, where you're from where I'm from I, where I'm from I say um, uh, buggies because we're from the south but um, or shopping carts um, you know, a lot of the stores are running out of them. So I use sanitizer on my hands while it's still wet. You know, I touch the cart. But I always, I use sanitizer throughout the store as well a few times. And then once um, I get the money and, and or I give them the money or if I'm using self-checkout, I'll use hand sanitizer as I'm walking out the door. So just using extra precautions. Like if I'm home, I might wash my hands, um, uh, you know, every three hours or so. Um, maybe less often than that, but if I'm out, I use my hand, I use hand sanitizer a lot, wash my hands a lot, so, um, that's something that can really help and benefit, um, uh, keeping the spread down, and that's what we're all trying to do, so we can get back to our normal lives here, um, but, so anyway, I just wanted to go into a discussion with you guys. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, if you liked it, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, or comment, and I'll definitely comment, uh, comment back. So I thank you so much for watching.